Welcome Forex traders, welcome to my live day trading room. Um, this is where I day trade. I am not currently swing trading at the moment right now for due to a couple of reasons that I've already spoke about before. Um, I am doing the uh, challenge for CTI, which means that my main account, uh, my micro account is linked up to, to theirs. And I'm going through a challenge right now in order to, uh, if I pass the challenge, uh, then I'll be able to trade for their prop firm. And the other reason why is because we've been uh, going through a little bit of a drawdown. Um, and there are some seasons where uh, the swing trading goes sits through these drawdowns. So it's, it's up to me as the uh, account manager to uh, determine if, you know, we're in one of those prolonged seasons and, and uh, stop trading that system until it starts working again. Um, so that's why I put it on pause for now. But uh, right now we are day trading uh, and I want to take you on over to my website where you can link up your MT4 to my MT4. You'll receive all the trades from my micro account. Um, and I say micro account because that's what I use for my for my main account. I use my smallest account, my micro account. Um, it's just psychological reasons. And um, that's a hurdle that I had to get over. I've talked about it many times before. But um, you, you can link up your account and it basically what it will do is it'll, it, will, it will adjust the lot size according to the size account that you have. Um, so just go to, on over to the website here, click on the Manage tab, and it will flip you on over to where you can sign up for that. And I have a little quick little tutorial here, a couple of recommended brokers listed below here. You can use any broker. Make sure you do your own due diligence. And uh, I have a couple of requirements here for the broker. Uh, take you on over to my stats here. This is the stats on the main account since I've been doing it live here with you folks. Um, I don't take a single trade without you. Um, I started over from scratch to make this uh, documentary on YouTube. And uh, this is only a couple months old, so it's not m much data on here yet. But you can see our equity curve. It's sitting here pretty nice so far. A little bit of a drawdown at the moment, but nothing, nothing we haven't overcome before. So it's nice, steady climb. Um, that's what I like to trade, nice, steady climb. So if you are interested in how I trade, let's go. All right, today is the 19th, Tuesday of January, 2021. Uh, we just had New York close about 39 minutes ago. And if you watched my last video, you saw that I did a reduction in my lots for these uh, pending orders. But in fact, what I did was I went ahead and placed the normal amount. Um, I always do have half the lot size on the pound, dollar, and pound USD. The reason why I, I recorrected them back to normal is because uh, this one's the one half already. This one's a one half already. And I'm not trading this one. So I only actually only had these guys in here that I'm trading. So uh, with with my regular lot size. Um, so, you know, with with the absence of the Australian yen, um, that kind of uh, allowed me to um, increase my lot size again back to normal. Um, so I have all my pending orders in right now and uh, we got them in here. Got it in here in here in here in here. Didn't do this one because we're sitting below the M2 and got one in here. Um, and uh, and I don't trade the Bitcoin with the pivots. However, I am paying attention to uh, how Bitcoin performs with the pivots uh, because you know it's uh, it's the dollar is behind it. So um, you know it does kind of it does it does respect the pivots. Uh, it does blow past through the pivots, but it does for the most part respect the pivots. So. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and place this on time lapse and I'll pop in from moment to moment whenever we have uh, anything happening. Good morning. It is uh, 2.23 a.m. Taking a quick look. Let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Bitcoin broke out of this rising wedge. And this was the rising wedge on the one hour chart right here. And it came right down to this triangle right here. So that's where it's at right now. Those are horrible lines I'm drawing. But yeah, we're down here right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
on this triangle. So I have alerts right now. Now this is a longer term triangle. This is a uh, Keep in mind, we are, we've are we been writing this 21 on the daily. So we're right here right now on the, on the 21, and that's right where the triangle is. So this is uh, something that I am paying close attention to. Um, there we go. Place the alert right below that sucker right there. Now you can place... Uh, place the alert right here uh, Bitcoin often does not come back for the retest uh, you can actually place a pending order right below this wick I don't know if you can see it there we go this wick right here would be the the trade signal for short that would be breaking the 21 as well on the daily okay so let's take a look over at the full pivots for Forex a little disappointing um, you know it's easy to get discouraged in in Forex sometimes when um, things just aren't working out because you're so much in the zone for the moment um, and you know you kind of want to go back and tweak things or whatever but uh, you know it's just a in the moment type of thing so um, honestly we're we're uh, we're doing just fine um, it's it's in the long run in the long run that it, it works out you know it's just uh, sometimes you miss miss trades and it doesn't give you the entries that you want pound at no point gave me any entry that I wanted on either pound yen or pound dollar we may be getting an entry coming here on the on the euro yen and maybe coming up here on the euro dollar um, here's my my pending orders right down here um, I still have an opportunity here on the CAD yen uh let's see here the aussie yen came all the way up to its daily take profit zone i still have an entry right here it still can do one of these type of deals um and then i would uh, need the australian yen to come through and then bounce and would buy it right in here so you know it's it's uh just let it do its thing doesn't uh, it's not always picture perfect, but um, in the long run, it um, it's the best method. Ethereum still struggling, still struggling with its. Uh, it made the all-time high and immediately came back into the uh, resistance zone. So it's still struggling in here with the resistance zone. Uh, I think all eyes are on Bitcoin right now. If Bitcoin holds its support. Yeah, then uh, I probably will see Ethereum um, come back up at least to test its all-time high once again. Let's take a look at Bitcoin here. Looks like it's trying right now to, to uh, break its support level. This is the uh, this is the short right here. If it breaks that level all right We're starting to see the dump right now. Bitcoin alert. Bitcoin alert. Okay, so uh, my, my profit target, if I were to take this trade, which I'm not, uh, it would be right down in here. 
And let's see, let's see what else I can find here. Match is up thirty one five seven nine. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, this this would be my profit target right down in here. Take a look here on the weekly chart off to the far left. So this is my 21 right here, and it's going to be moving just like this right here. So if this candle wick comes down to that profit target that I was talking about. Okay, yeah, so... This profit target in here would equal a wick right down into where the 21 uh, moving average will come down to. So that's the uh, weekly 21 moving average, and that's what held up so strong during last bull run. You can see here that it's been riding that 21 ever since we broke out of 10,500. So that would be a very logical thing for Bitcoin to do is come right down to that weekly 21. Now keep in mind right now, that weekly 21 is way down here. But uh, if we form that wick that comes down and pulls back up, this 21 will will skirt that wick just like so. It will, it will move up and move to the left as the average moves also. Um, so remember, it's a moving average. So it will move up and to the left. And uh, in the future, it will look like that wick came right down to that 21. So it's a very logical move right here. All right, so uh, take a look here. It's 4.30 a.m. Uh, and this breakout's been happening now for past uh, two hours or so. And I'm, Still not seeing a whole lot of volume on this uh, trade. Um, if you were to, if you were taking breakout this breakout trade, typically you want to see a lot of uh, price action. Um, and it's it's hasn't it's still not saying that it won't you know hit its target down here, uh, but uh, it's just not a whole lot of volume to confirm this uh, this break to the downside. So I would be cautious on that. All right, so I want to go back in time here with Bitcoin. This is uh, the uh, previous cycle here. And uh, June, April, May, June. So in June of 17, this is this is kind of where I think that we are now uh, in the cycle. Um, you can see here that we had this triangle right here. And at the time we were writing, let's go ahead and pull out my pen. At the time we were writing the daily 21 with wicks down to the daily 21. And uh, then we had this triangle pattern right here, kind of like what we have right now. And we had a breakout or breakdown. Um, and then it would end up just being like a fake out, right? And then continued on. So the daily 21 did get broken and we did break down. But if you take it into the weekly, and this is why the weekly is, is um, even more important than the daily. Uh, let's go to the weekly. That same time, June, of 17 okay so let's enlarge so it's the first big dump that it had let's see June 17 okay so we had the breakout okay here we go this is it right here Okay, so we look something like this right now, right here. That's what we look like right now. It looks like a really big, long, okay. And you can see the 21 on the weekly is currently, at that point, it was right down here. And uh, we started to break below get rid of the, uh, these ads on the daily that's when we started breaking below the uh, the uh, 21 on the day and then we had the um, we had the big 
a breakout of the triangle, which all it did is come right down to the 21 on the weekly. So this is the weekly 21 right here. And price just comes down and skirts it and comes down. Uh, once it breaks above, it comes down once again with that wick. Let me see if I can enlarge it here again. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, that's all I ended up doing. So this, I think we're in this cycle. I think that we are in this first big blow off and retrace to the 21. We're going to have another one in the future if, if it follows a um, similar cycle to uh, last. And then we will have... So we'll have uh, this first one, the second one. This third one is didn't come all the way down to the 21, just kind of went er, 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 and then the big, the big huge pump for the next one, two, three, four weeks after that. So uh, where we are right now, I think we are right in here in the cycle. This part right here, I think that's where, right where we're at. We still need to do this, which is a big move. Uh, it doesn't look very big on this chart, but that's a big move. Then we'll have the next large, massive move up. Another massive move down to the uh, 21. This little hitch right here. And then the massive um, explosion and blow off top. So if that helps you to stay in Bitcoin, that helps me. So what will that look like on uh, this cycle? Okay, so this is where we're at right now on the weekly. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom out here. I'm going to hide this volume. Okay, so this is uh, where we're at right now on the on the weekly chart. Okay, all right. So what would this look like? So the first one. We had a triangle. We break down to the 21. We come back above. Okay, probably to about around 60,000. And then it comes back down again to the 21. I'm going to mark the 21 in a different color here shortly. Okay, and then it comes back up. And it throws in a hitch right up here. And then it has the massive break to the upside before it comes down. Okay, so this is more or less in to scale what uh, last cycle had. Oh, whoops! I just deleted everything. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this here real quick. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So we uh, we had the triangle. We're in the triangle right now. We had the breakdown to the twenty-one. Comes up. Comes back down to the 21, comes back up, has a hitch, and he has a huge blow off top, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and change the color of the uh, 21. And the 21 is currently right here, and what it does is it skirts these guys here. Doesn't quite make it to the other one, and then price breaks it. So I think that we're going to end up being anywhere between uh, 100,000 and 130,000. Somewhere right in here is where I think that we're going to end up um, ending this, uh, this bull cycle. So this big massive move that we have right now, this is, this is where we're at right now on it. Uh, we, had the, uh, we had the breakout, the initial bull run, the, uh, the, uh, the fake dump, the uh, first wave. The first capitulation, the second capitulation, and then the hitch, and then the bull run, and then the uh, final bull run, which is the extended leg up for the blow off top. Again, let's take one more look at last cycle. Okay, here it is. All right, let's go ahead and mark the uh, 21 moving average. 
This is it right here. Okay, and then we had the uh, initial breakout and then the uh, fake dump. Okay, the big run up, the triangle, the breakdown, the fake, d the, uh, the um, capitulation that ended up becoming the next wave, another capitulation down to the 21, comes up to the hitch, and the massive blow off top. So uh, the way that the, the price is consolidated, the way it looks right down here, let's go ahead and take another look at this here real quick. Okay, the way that price looks consolidated, this, is, this area right in here is where it originally broke out. So let's go ahead and take a look right now at where we're at and what that would look like. Okay, so let's, this is the original breakout right down here. So let's bring this to where we can barely see it. Okay, so if uh, we have the similar type of extension on this one, we have the capitulation, the breakout capitulation, the hitch, and the huge blow off. That might even bring us up to around uh, 200, uh, anywhere from 180 to 200,000 if we have the same type of explosion at the very end. Because the way that we consolidate price down here, so price got pushed way 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 down to where it looks almost like it's flat there we go so yeah this would be the first the first move up if this is the end of this cycle that would be that would be a non-starter that would be a very limp <laughs> it would be a very uh, lethargic move for uh, a Bitcoin cycle so I don't think this is the end at, at all Just want to take a quick look here at the pound. Um, this is uh, my my pending order. Unfortunately, we never came down there. Um, this is my pending order here. Let's change it back to red. My pending order right here. We never came down there. But I want to show you something. Uh, I had my target right here, and that's exactly where the wick came up to, uh, right into the target. So this is uh, showing me that uh, yes, the uh, the targets are correct. If we were had that bounce through the entry order we just had no no entry at all i mean this this wasn't an entry down here um i this was the only valid uh setup that i had but just no no entry um you know i was i needed that that wick that little scam wick to come down um but uh, that would have been a perfect exit and, and it showed itself right there uh i want to take a look again at uh the other pound version which is the pound us dollar and we can see the same thing here. Um, we have this all the way up at uh, R3. Um, so th this is my where my pending order is. And I was counting on a scam wick to come down into it and bounce. Uh, this is where I had my take profit. And we had the wick actually come right up to here. So I think the R3 was right here. So it penetrated the R3 just slightly. Um, so the, uh, the exits are really good um, exit points. It's just a matter of getting that uh, getting that entry. Um, we're getting really close right now on the Euro Yen to uh, take in my entry. And you can see here, this is exactly where my take profit's gonna be. So we need that wick to come down and for price to, to break up. Um, and then possibly tomorrow have um, have my uh, take profit zone. Hopefully it will be up, up in here somewhere if we, if we move up today. Also on the Euro USD, we're, we're looking like we may come right down into that entry location. It's having a lot of problems right here. Right here is some support. There's a little support area right in here. So we would have to have a scam wick come, come right down into it. Now the, the on the flip side is what if this is a continuation down? And of course that's always the issue and that's why I have uh, my stop loss right down here.
All right, I just got triggered in on the Euro USD. Let's make sure it triggered over on. Yes, it did. Okay, here it is on my prop firm account. Okay, and I just got triggered in on my Euro Yen. Let's check the prop firm account, make sure the trade copier worked. Give it a second. There it is, okay, perfect. Okay, those orders are, all right, so that one's uh, 0686. All right, it is uh, 9.47 a.m. on the 20th of January. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and record down. The, I it's got stopped down both the euros. Lots of volatility today. Today's the inauguration day. Not making any excuses. It could have gone the other way. Um, I've been missing the mark a little bit lately. Um, taking a look here. I, um, looking at, I, would, I was looking at for the Australian was for it to come down in the last hour. Uh, within the last hour and then buy it, but it did it the, the two hours prior um, to, to front run because um, I, I missed th this one in here it never came down my entry So I, I was looking to front run and uh, It just didn't give it to me came up exactly to where my take profit is you can see here This is the candle wick my take profits right here. So yeah, I missed the mark on that um, Not so much well not eh, the Australian yen it was closer on the Australian US dollar. Uh, the CAD yen, the spread was really high on this. It, it, it just never came close. But the uh, the one that I definitely missed was the Australian US dollar. Um, I'm in right now currently on the uh, pound uh, yen from this from this point right here. Uh, so we'll see how that one plays out. But uh, yeah, I, I got stopped out right in here somewhere. Right in here. And... Uh, right in here for the uh, pound yen or for the euro yen so let's go ahead and mark those down yeah uh, been missing the mark lately not how not too happy about it Zero six eight six and zero nine five two. All right, zero nine five two. Okay, there you go. As you see, I show you the good and the bad. Little bit of a recovery on Bitcoin, you know. I still, I still do have a setup um, on the uh, Euro USD. Um, what I do need is a breach back above the central pivot. A lot of times during these high volatility events like this, um, you know, I, uh, you do get these uh, these stop outs, and then only for price to continue in the direction where it wants to go. So, uh, this is still valid. Let's take a look at it in the white charts. Yeah, so what we did was we came right down back down to the M2. So we went from we went from M2 to M3 back down to M2.
Okay. So just taking a look across the board right now. Okay. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Had that big wick down. Right here. That big wick down. Uh, so um, it was looking like here that um, the breakdown was 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 going to happen, uh, but uh, that big wick right there is uh, is interesting to me. Um, so far, right now, we're still on the daily 21 moving average. This is the weekly, but the daily 21 is is right there. I mean, it's right there. The the weekly is way down here. All right, so a quick little update here. I t had a couple of shots on goal, and I took them. Uh, it's uh, 2.45 p.m., so we're about 15 minutes out. Um, so the uh, shots that I took were right here um, on the uh, pound U.S. dollar and uh, right here on the uh, pound yen. I will update my stop loss and take profit here in about 15 minutes once we get the pivots closed. Um, I will be able to take a shot on the Australian yen and uh, I will have the Australian US dollar available um, and it doesn't look like the euro USD will or the euro yen um, and yes on the CAD yen let's go ahead and take a look at it on the white charts right after I turn off my alarm clock Okay, so yeah, no front run um, available on the Australias. And uh, there's no front run available on the CAD yen. And I mean, we're making lower pivots on both the euros. So let's go ahead and remove this over here because this is no longer valid. Delete that. But we can, uh, right now we're, we're below the M2 um here on the euro yen but we can always break above it and then break above central pivot tomorrow so that's something i will be watching out for where we are above the m2 over here on the euro usd so tomorrow maybe if we can break out of the uh of, of the uh, pivot range then there will be a long tomorrow Okay, here we go. We're within one minute. Spreads are starting to widen. All right, here we go. We have lock right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, fix our uh, stops and limits here on the first two. Okay, so almost perfect. And this one here. My stop. And take profit is yep good for me let's go ahead and mark out the box
Okay. Spread is 2.4. Eighty one seventy seven. So let's go ahead and take take a look here at the uh, CAD yen. Okay, so let's see here. What, what do I have it on? Okay, no, that's my uh, Australian yen. Australian yen. So this guy's going to be right up here at M5. Okay. And next is... So let's uh, fix the stop a little bit better here. And then um, now is the CAD yen. It's a really small weekly zone. Compared to last. Yep, really small. Zoom out. small zone. Well, okay. All right, what is next? All right, 
so euro I'm not doing it's a lower box we will have to draw at the pivot anyways because it's in play above the M2 and the last one here is going to be the Australian US dollar Let's take a look at the Australian US dollar. Okay, it's very much valid. Yeah, very much valid. Okay, back on over. Okay, so we get the Australian US dollars done, the Australian yen, CAD yen's done. Um, let's go ahead and look at the uh, pound US dollar a little bit more closely. Pound USD. Okay. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that all my entries are in, so my stops are in. Take profits, stop losses. Okay, and then on my other account, and here we go. Yes, I have my stop losses. Um, my take profits only on market end exit. So perfect. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, folks, so that's going to be it. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to have the results. Um, yeah, I've been missing the mark lately, and it sucks. I, you know, drawdowns always do, but, um, you know, it's a long it's a long game, playing the long game, so I can't let the emotions get the best of me, and I can't uh, stop trading just because, uh, you know, I feel down about it. So, well, we'll, we'll, we'll come out of this uh, drawdown and... Um, so we'll, we'll be making profits uh, very soon. We'll see you then.